Dr. Mikko Mertsenen and his team from Aalto University are building a detector for single microwave photons. Dr. Mertsenen was granted a funding of 1.5 million euros for five years to build this component. If successful, a novel superfast problem solver, a quantum computer, is one step closer to reality. This would mean a scientific breakthrough in the field of quantum computing. So I obtained the European Research Council's Starting Independent Researcher Grant, which is one and a half million for five years. The title is uh, Microwave Photonics, and we plan to study individual microwave photons in superconducting waveguides. The research could lead uh, to the measurement device of single microwave photons, which could be then used possibly in the future for quantum information and processing applications. Single photons themselves could be possibly used as quantum bits in a photonic quantum computer, and the single photon detector could be used as a measurement device of these quantum bits. In a quantum computer, um, the bits are, are called quantum bits or qubits. So in a classical computer, the bit can be zero or one, but in a quantum computer, it can be somewhere in between. In fact, it can take infinitely many different uh, positions, and, and these bits uh, can be superimposed, which makes the computational space huge compared to the classical computer. Then that's where the quantum computer gets its power. Today, the computers are very small and very slow. So, um, but we will see in the future what will happen. Maybe we will get a very fast, large quantum computer.